scroll off to the side so they never even hit more than one ball. But yeah, I totally hit myself in the face and I completely I'm going to have a huge bump on my nose. But it really hurts. Well, I didn't have to ice this because like, I seriously hit the face pretty bad. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it really hurts. I mean, I guess it can hurt some stuff a lot. You can wait until nine because I, I got this okay. lesson. So. Hi, Hamad. Hello, Hamad. Hello. What would you like to work on tonight? Uh, work on the sections that will come in the exam. The talk to. Okay. Um, do you have anything you want us to look at together? Maybe uh, some questions you can send me or uh, maybe a study guide from the instructor? Um, she said we'll be to be covering sections of the seven point one to seven point seven. Okay. And, um, I I mean I don't have access to your your course on this machine, okay. so um, I can go try to figure out you know remind myself what's on there. Okay. But but um, what what I mean do you do you have a preference for what we work on today? Um, I don't know what's the name of the section of the. Uh, I just want to re review the integration by parts and then moving on. Yeah. Okay. Look, give me thirty seconds. I'm gonna grab a textbook. That'll probably help. I'll be right back. Okay. Okay, so I've got a uh, I've got a textbook here of, of you know, we'll say, a hundred and something integrals from your from your from your part of the course. Um, you said you want to do integration by parts first. Yes, uh, uh, the first one, the first section was finding u. This is u substitution. Yes. Code? Yes. Okay. 
So do you want to do that or do you want to do integration by parts? Is it the same thing or no? No, no they're different. Can we start with view substitution? Yes. Yes. All right. So let me share my screen and uh, we'll do some use substitution problems. And definitely would recommend taking notes. Okay. All right. So if you see my screen, uh, you know, kind of our very first problem here would be something like this integral um, x cubed minus one to the fourth x squared dx. So your u is x cubed minus one. It's, it's generally something that's in parentheses. Okay, so your du is three x squared dx. Do you follow that? Is that something uh, you remember from class? So the u is always the parentheses or uh, how do you, you find it? Usually, usually like, like I mean, I wish I knew the question on your test because then I would just tell you what it is, but it's like most of the time. Most of the time it's it's that. Okay, and uh, and if it's not like what well, it, it be? Uh, well, if it's not, then you you have this problem. You have to like find another way to do it. Like uh, like you have to try something else, a different you. Like like you you as a student you're 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 trying to identify which which technique is right, and you you just don't always know. Like you you could you could be wrong. Okay, and and how do you get the du? You got the integral, or you take the der derivative. Derivative. Okay. And you want to solve that for dx. So you divide both sides by three x squared. And the V, is there a V or not? No, not for this one. Oh. Wait, so you did it. So, so now you go back to your original and you, you substitute in for U and for DX. So instead of X cubed minus one, it's U to the fourth. The X squared just comes down, but DX is DU over three X squared. Okay, so what's the answer going to be? Well, we're not, we haven't, like, this is part of it. This is, like, you have to, you have to be comfortable doing this on, on the test. So, um, do you see how the x squareds cancel? Uh, x squared. See, I, br I brought the x squared down. There's three x squared on the bottom. x squared cancels with x squared. Wait, I'm, I'm kind of confused. Right, uh, dx equals to du over three x squared. Then what? What's after that? Uh, th th did you did you you replace x cubed minus one with u? So it's u to the fourth. Bring down the x squared. Replace dx with du over three x squared. Um, you Replace the, that with the u, okay? Yeah. And then the x squared cancels with that x squared. So you have one third integral u to the fourth du. Wait, from where do you get the x squared over one? From right, right here, the original. The dx equals, oh, okay, you just substitute it. Yes, you replace it. And why? Okay, okay. Place it and okay. Then it's going to be equal to three because the three is still there or no? It's one third. Three is on the bottom. Is it gone or no? It's on the outside of the integral. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, so this is power rule. So you add one. The one third comes down, plus C, always plus C. 
Okay. And then uh, you, you simplify here. So it's u to the fifth over five plus c, but u from earlier, u is, what is u? x cubed minus one. So this becomes one over 15, x cubed minus one to the fifth plus c. That's your final answer. Or plus one? Uh, how did it? You're, you're, you're using the integral power rule, x to the n dx, you add one to the exponent and you divide by the new exponent. And the one third. What happens to the integral that was there between it's, the one? When when you when you apply the power rule, the integral goes away. Okay. Then the answer is one third due to the fifth over five plus c. That's, that's right, but you have to back substitute your u. You can't, you can't leave it with you. If you leave it with you, you'll get, you know, three points off out of 10 because you didn't back substitute. You have to substitute that one over with, with how 15? One third times one fifth is one over 15. Three times five is 15. But you still didn't substitute, or did you do it before that? It doesn't matter when you substitute, as long as you do it before the final answer. So you can multiply, but you got you to gotta back substitute. OK. This is not going to be on your test. This is not hard enough, just, just so you know. Like, this is not even close to a test question. That you're going to see. This is the easy one. Yeah. So I'm not trying to scare you. I'm just giving you reality. So let's look at another one here. Integral x cosine square root x squared plus one over square root x squared plus one dx. So the u it's going to be. Uh x squared plus one? It's actually the square root of x squared plus one. Squared. Then the d is going to be? So it might be good this time to write it as x squared plus one to the one half. Because when you take the derivative, you're going to use the power rule for the derivative. The, the one is uh, inside the, where's the one? One over two. It's an exponent, so it's, it's the, the one half is the square root. One half power means square root. Yeah. Okay, so you gotta be able to take a derivative of this. Do you wanna give that a try? Two X, that's it. It's power rule. One half oh. comes down, one half x one squared half. plus one keep the inside subtract one negative one half times what's the derivative of the inside Wait. two x how is it negative one half still because it's power rule if if you're if 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 i have x to the n the derivative yeah. is that is n x minus one you have to subtract one from the exponent and then yeah. re right in front so one half comes down x squared plus one inside parentheses minus one half parentheses two x dx from where did you get the two x chain rule the chain rule says you got to take the derivative of the inside function okay okay so you have to solve for dx Okay, and you want to do this smartly because like you're going to use it to cancel here. So the, the one half goes with the two, those cancel out. So you have du equals this, this x over here, x. Now, instead of negative one half, it's going to go on the bottom. That makes it positive. So you have x 
dx so far solving for dx so we're gonna we're gonna like this has to be clear see how the one half cancels with the two x is up top negative one half means it goes down to the bottom but one half is the square root x wait how did you cancel the the part okay, let me let me do this let me do this slower um let me do this slower so let's look at let's look at this line uh right here okay and let me let me do this slow so it's one half times two x times x squared plus one to the minus one half power dx one half times two is x, x squared plus one to the minus one half dx. Now you can put this on the bottom, x squared plus one to the one half power. That's, that is, that is just a power. That's just an exponent rule. That's from, from previous class. It's an exponent rule. Okay. And then instead of writing one half, okay, well, x times one is x. Instead of one half, you can write the square root of x squared plus one dx. Yeah. But we need to solve for dx. So to solve for dx, okay, you have to multiply both sides by the square root of x squared plus one to cancel it. Cancel, cancel. So you have the square root of x squared plus one du equals x dx. So then you divide both sides by x. So square root of x squared plus one over x du equals dx. So now let us go back to the original problem. Is there any questions on, on this or any, anything you want me to cover again? Um, from the square root, uh, you got the square root because there's a half? Yes, one half. One half. X to the one half means the square root of X. Uh, you, you can't keep the one half, you must put it in square root. Well, notice the original problem uses square root. That's why. Okay. Okay, so now like we got to go back to our original problem here. And are you, we'll grab are you from up above. So here, here was our original problem. Oops. Okay. And we said u was the, the square root of x squared plus one. So we're going to substitute in now. Okay. Um, so, so it's integral x cosine u. Okay. Dx though, dx comes from up here. It's the square root of x squared plus one over x square root of x squared plus one. So let me let me try to dr draw some colors here. So oops. No, but the x squared plus one is you. We should put you instead. Well, we are no no no. We so this and this, these, these that's where that comes from. Oh. Okay. And then dx, which I'll show in blue here, we just did that. That's dx. Okay. Um, so, so if that's clear, now things cancel. So like this, this X cancels with this X, this square root cancels with this square root. And there's a DU here, which I didn't write. So it becomes, it becomes just the integral of cosine U. DU. Plus C? No. Nope, we haven't integrated yet. So now you have to integrate. Going to be a negative sine x. Yeah. So well, it's, it's, it, it ends up being sine u plus c. And u is the square root of x squared plus one. So we have to put that back in. Sine of the square root of x squared plus one plus c. Okay. 
All right, you ready for another one? Yep. Okay, this one be a little bit easier, um, but it's kind of the same same style. Um, integral cosine w over one plus sine squared w dw. So u is going to be cos w. U. So that is wrong. Close. Yeah, that's wrong. And and like this is the problem. This is the challenge here because like that's wrong. But you, but it seems reasonable. What's your next guess? Sine squared. Okay, that is also wrong. W. Uh, one. Yeah. One. Nope. <laughs> and that's yeah. the hard part, right? This this is it's like like how do I know? So the correct answer is sine w. Sine. W. Okay. Oh. Okay. Now I don't have a good way to tell you to know that. I'm just I just chose this problem because it it illustrates the, the problem with u substitutions is you really gotta gotta know how to do how to do them. But why is sine w? Why? Yeah, why? Well, the, the reason is that it it uh, um, is it works. <laughs> Um, you'll see why in a moment. If we were, it's 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 more like this mod. Like if we tried these other ones, they wouldn't work, and you you would you would be you wouldn't get the right answer. Like they just wouldn't simplify to anything. But this one does. Sign then. Okay, so so this time you get to solve for dw. Dw is du over cosine w. And then divide by cos w. Yeah. Is that okay? Like, is that that clear? Yes. Okay. So now we're going to substitute this back in. So it's integral cosine w, one plus u squared du over cosine w. Okay. Okay, so what so cancels? U squared? Why? Yeah, because u is sine, right? U is sine, so sine. So if you square both sides, if you square u, you get sine squared w. Okay. So what cancels here? Okay. The cosine, right? See how the cosines go away? One over one plus u squared du. Yes. Okay, now this is an integral you're supposed to know. So this one is arctangent. One squared? It's arctangent. What? This is one of those integrals you got to know. This is arc tangent of u. Which one? Uh, well, I don't know. There's there's a table, right? I sent you that. Let me send it to you again. Um, let me go look for it. Let me copy the address. Chat. Yep, I'll uh, I'll send it to you through uh, WhatsApp. Um, there it is. Yes, I got it. Yeah. So this one, let me let me go to the one. Like you need to know a bunch of these. I've sent this to you before. It's it's uh, you know it's it's um, on the page two. Let me find it here. Where is it? So it's it's kind of it's kind of encoded in another format, but it's it's this one on the second page. Second page. Yeah, or third, or third page actually. Oh. So so in your case, a is one, but you can see it it just works like this. Um, your your u your u was sine w. 
right. U, is, U is sine W from earlier. So you have to put that back in. So it's arc tangent of sine W plus C. Is that okay? Yes. All right. Do you want more U substitution problems? No, no, it's okay. Okay. You've had enough. <laughs> All right. Um, so what do you want to do next? Integration by parts? Integration by parts. I think we can actually do that question you sent me earlier today. Um, let me look for it. I think that was integration by parts. Um, yeah, let's do that one. So, um, no, it was not. I apologize. So, what do we want to do here? Um, here's a good one integral x natural log of x dx. So you need a U and you need a DV. But you have to be very careful here. Whatever, whatever U is, you have to be able to take the derivative of. And you can take the derivative of everything. You can take a derivative of everything, no big deal. But you can't, you cannot integrate everything. So your DV needs to be something you can integrate. So you you do not know how to integrate LN, but you do know how to take its derivative. Yeah. You do know, but you do know how to integrate x dx. Yes. So this, in some ways, integration by parts is easier than u substitution because you have to be able to integrate it and you can take the derivative. What is du here? What is the derivative of natural log of x? 1 over x. Yeah, x, good. And when you integrate here, what is the integral of dv? Uh, v equals... Uh, uh, one over what? One what half x squared. Well, how? It's power rule. Remember, you add one. Let me go back and find it. So this one right here. You add one to the exponent. You divide by the new exponent. Yeah. So if it's if it's x to the one, which it is here, there's a little one there. You add one, divide by the new exponent. With how, uh, like, there's one over there, then you add one, which is two? Yes. There's a one, there's a one there, so you add one to get two, you divide by the new exponent, which is two. Oh, okay. Wait, uh, yeah. No, no, how, how do you get two? Down. Okay, so you add one to the exponent and you divide by the new exponent. Okay, 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 okay. Okay. All and right, so, so V, V is one half X squared. Yes. So integration by parts is uv minus integral v du. So you want to write that every time you do this, uv minus integral v du. You have a u. Your u is natural log of x. Your v is 1 half x squared minus integral. Your v is 1 half x squared. Your du is 1 over x dx. Yeah. Then uh, okay, you cancel, cancel that. No, you take the integral of. Uh, so we got to we got to multiply first. So like like on the left here, just simplifying, it's one half x squared natural log of x. That's just a rewrite. Yeah. On the right here, though. Oh, oh, one you, half. you just put one half in front. It's preferred to put a polynomial in front. Okay. 
Okay. Okay, so then on the right here, you, you have a one half, which I'm gonna leave in here for now. What is X squared over X? They, one of the X's cancel, so it's just X. Is that okay? Is that clear? You have an X squared up top, you have an X in the bottom, one of the X's cancel. So are, are you doing here, the step is multiplying or what? Yes. Okay, so now on the right here, you have to be able to find the integral of this for the antiderivative. So what is the uh, what is the antiderivative of that? Do you know? There's a one here. Uh, maybe. One zero? No. Maybe one. So you, so, you, so, you, so you add one, right? You add one to the new exponent and you divide by the new exponent. Okay. Two, two, then one half, you know, two over one times. So you got minus one half x squared over two plus c. Okay. So you have one half x squared natural log of x minus this. Is that it or no? Yeah, that yeah, that's it for this one. I mean you could you can make this x squared over four. Okay. You know, that's kind of important. All right. Is that uh is that okay? Yes. Okay. Um, all right, so here's one. What is the integral? Where was that one? Integral, yeah, there it is. Integral three plus 12 x squared square rooted dx. And this is integration by parts. Uh, the u is going to be three plus uh, the square root of three plus twelve x squared. Yes, because you can take it right of that, and then your dv is dx. Your dv is dx. Okay, so your it's, du is uh, wait. It's going to be a uh, three plus twelve x to one half. Yeah, we want to rewrite that that way. So now the derivative, that's 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 exponent one half, three uh -huh. plus twelve x squared to the minus one half uh -huh. times twenty-four x dx. Twenty-four. That's the chain rule. Wait, how, how did we get twenty-four again? Two times twelve. Derivative of the inside function. Two times twelve. Okay. Then you. So we want to. We do want to simplify this. So du is one half of tw of twenty four is twelve. Twelve x. Right. Three plus twelve x squared. Okay. And then we did this in the previous problem. Th this goes to the bottom. The, the three plus 12 X squared to the minus one, it goes to the bottom. Okay. And then instead of one half, we're gonna, we, we can leave it, I guess it doesn't really matter. We can leave it like that, okay? Now on the right here, when you integrate these, V equals what? What's the integral of DX? It's the most basic one you can do. It's just X. Mm -hmm. So this is uv minus integral 
VDU. So your U is the square root of three plus 12 X squared. Your V is X minus mm. the integral. Um, uh, the TU. Uh, why did you divide it by 12 X over three plus 12? Is the negative negative one half exponent. Negative one half exponent goes to the bottom to become one half. It's it's the same. It's the same as this problem we did up here. Remember all this where we moved it to the bottom, change yes. it to a square root. It's the same as that. Okay, it has to be positive, right? The well, it's just it. it's just better in this case. I mean, at that the, you 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 got to do a little manipulation here. So let me. I need to make a little more room here. So now it's minus integral V du, V du. So your, your V du is X, 12 X over three plus 12 X squared to the one half power DX. Wait, and the UV, uh, the U is, okay. Over here. Okay. Okay, so on the right-hand side, it, it's x square root three plus 12 x squared minus integral 12 x squared over three plus 12 x squared to the one half power dx. x squared? Why x, squared? x times x gives you x squared. No. Okay, so now, you have to know how to integrate this thing, which looks really bad. So this right here is actually a U substitution problem. Okay. So it's U equals three plus 12 X squared. DU is. DU is uh, three plus uh, 24x. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So now, okay, we um, we're going to substitute in here. Integral 12x squared over u to the one half. Dx is du over 24x. Do you want us to go on to a different problem? Yes. Okay, let's go to something different. Okay, so this, this um, let's do another integration by parts, but this time let's do just a more traditional one. Let's go e to the five x cosine three x dx. Okay, so the u is going to be e to the five x? Sure, that works great. And then dv is cosine three x dx. What is du? And be e to the five x dx. Five e to the five x dx. So chain rule. Chain rule of five x is five. Okay. Now on the right, when you integrate this, this is the harder one. It's sine three x, okay, but there's a one third out in front. The reason there's a one third is when you take the derivative of the inside function, you get a three and it has to cancel that out to get back to this cosine. Right. So like like over here, if I told you what is what is what is the derivative of this on the right? What is V prime? What would you tell me? You would say the derivative of sine is cosine three X and the derivative of three X is three. One third times three makes one. So V prime is cosine of three X. Yeah. That's why that's why the one third is there. Okay, so now it's uv minus integral v du. 
So it's e to the 5x times 1 third sine 3x minus integral 1 third sine 3x 5e to the 5x dx. Is that okay? Yes. Okay, so I'm going to simplify on the right here. It's one third e to the five x sine three x minus five times one third is five thirds. So five thirds sine three x e to the five x dx. So now you just have to do integration by parts again. You need a u and you need a dv. You should use the same u's as before. So like since you chose u to be e to the five x, you you want it to be e this time as well. And then your dv, your dv is what's left over. Your dv is, um, we'll go 5 thirds uh, sine 3x dx. So the derivative of e to the 5x is 5e to the 5x dx. Okay. V is, so it's minus cosine 3x. That gets you back to sine. It's 5 thirds because you got to bring that down. But this 3x creates a 1 third just like it did up here. So it becomes minus 5 over 9. The 9 is because you have another 1 third here. Yeah. And it's really a u substitution problem, but you're supposed to be able to do it fast by now. So that's why, that's why I'm trying to explain explain to you the shortcut like you have to look at the inside function and write it out here so now again it's it's uv minus integral v du okay so it's it's minus that that's this minus uv e to the 5x times negative 5 over 9 cosine 3x okay this minus goes with this minus plus integral v du so that's minus five over nine cosine three X du is five E to the five X DX. And then we have to bring all of this down from before one third E to the five X sine three X. Okay. So I'm just going to simplify here a little bit. Okay. So it's, it's, I'm just going to just moving this over a little bit to the right one third E to the five X sine three X plus, because there's two negatives, five over nine, e to the five x cosine three x, okay, minus, and then, and then this five goes with this five, so it's 25 over nine, integral cosine three x e to the five x dx. And all of this equals, if you go back to our original problem, our original problem was the integral e to the five x cosine three X DX. Okay, so do you see how thou, this over here on the left is the same as this one over here on the right? Yes. So imagine adding this to both sides. And you add it over here. So, so there's really one of them up top here. So we would say that's nine over nine. So there are now 34 over nine integral E, I didn't write the E, E, E to the five X cosine three X DX equals, and then it's, it's, it's all this stuff here that, that we, we just bring down. Okay, so then, and you always do this is, is you, you get rid of this coefficient here. You multiply by nine over 34. Yeah. So the integral e to the five x cosine three x dx is, uh, so one third times nine over 34 is three over 34 e to the five x sine three x plus five over 34 e to the five x cosine three x plus C. It's how 34? 34 over nine up here. You just multiply by the reciprocal on both sides. Okay. 
All right. Um, okay, here. Just looking for another one here. That's not too bad. Um, let's just do a straight, more straightforward one. So let's do uh, integral x e to the one fifth x dx. What is your u and what is your dv? is uh, e to the one five x. Okay, so if I do that, then dv is x dx. Do you agree with that? Yes. Okay, so du is one fifth e to the one fifth x, and v is one half x squared. Okay, so now if we write uv minus integral v du, we get e to the one fifth x times one half x squared minus the integral, okay, v one half x squared times one fifth e to the one over five x dx. This is worse. This is bad. This means that, that the, the, the substitution we made was wrong. This is wrong and this is wrong. Uh, so, okay, so that's why it's so important to do here. So we're gonna go back to the original here and we're gonna, and, it, and since you don't know any better, you just, you just, you just try the, the other way. You're like, all right, well, that didn't work. So let's make ux and dv e to the one fifth x dx. So what is du? X, no, zero. Dx. Yeah. Now, when you integrate on the right-hand side, e is itself, but you have to account for this one fifth. So this time it's a five out in front. Okay, and if that doesn't make sense, let's just take the derivative. Let's say v equals five e to the one fifth x. V prime is five e to the one fifth x, but you have to take the derivative of the inside function, one fifth. So v prime equals e to the one fifth x. And dv and v prime are the same. Okay, so what is our uv here? uv minus integral v du x times 5e to the 1 5th x minus integral 5e to the 1 5th x dx. So on the left here, this becomes 5x e to the 1 5th x minus integral 5e to the 1 5th x dx. So this one, let's do it with a u substitution just to kind of show that here since we haven't done it yet. Um, du is one fifth dx. Okay, so this becomes minus integral five e to the u and d, dx, dx is five times du. So instead of dx, it's five du. So this becomes minus integral 25 e to the u du. And the antiderivative of that is 25 e to the u plus c, but u is one fifth x. So it's minus 25 e to the one fifth x plus c. And then we bring down this other part right here that that's in every line here. Let me just copy that in, boom. boom. And then this last line here. Yeah. All right, it's probably a good place for us to stop. Um, tomorrow, do you have any time in the early afternoon? Which uh, is what time? Uh, one, two, one or two. Would either of those times work for you? Uh, is there any time later in the evening? Possibly at 10. Uh, what about, what, when is your exam? I have it on Monday. Okay, so what about 
Friday or Sunday? Um, Sunday. Sunday. Yeah. So I've got. So let, well, let me let let me tell you what we can do right now. I can for sure meet with you tomorrow at ten. That's for sure. Tomorrow at one or two or ten. Friday at in the evening. Would Friday evening work? Anytime Friday evening. Like what time do you? I don't know. What time do you want? Five. Uh, about six. Six possible. Yes, six. Okay, let's shoot for that. Let's shoot for six on Friday. Okay. All right. All right. Thank you so much. I'll send you the notes here shortly, and I'll see you next time. And for the exam, uh, could you help me out if I got like stuck? Like yes, I will be available. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Bye now.